So today what we're going to do is show you how to make a, a posy of flowers. We're going to make some different ones. Obviously in earlier videos we've made snowdrops and made daffodils and this one what we hope to do is to do lily of, lily of the valley, narcissi, poppies and dog roses. So we're working again on the minor burner. So just get this up and running. So we're on the minor burner with one oxycon and I'm working with the Italian Effectra Grass and it's 591, either row 28 or row 30, whichever you like. And this is the 8mm, 8 to 9mm rod, just easier for pulling stalks and uh, for doing leaves and the prep work. So the other colours I've got is white 204, um, I've got a yellow 404, black and then an opaque blue and silver pink as well. So I'm just going to pull enough glass for about two or three stalks and this will be the, the stalks of the poppy and the dog rose and the narcissi. The one for the lily of the valley has to be a little bit different because obviously you've got either three or five heads on the stalk of the lily of the valley and with that one you need to put the sort of little green shoots coming off the stalk while it's still hot because if you try and add it when the stalk has cool, cooled uh, you'll end up with a lot of flame cracking. So with this one, we're only just pulling enough glass for like say two or three stalks. I'm just going to heat up around about 20, 25 mil of glass, and then take in a stringer or an old rod, whatever you got to hand really. Just warm the end of it. So remembering to keep the glass rod turning all the time and getting it nice and warm and molten all the way through before you start to stretch it otherwise the the stalk will just be awful and lumpy and thick and thin and awful looking so tack on your your punty or your, your spare rod out of the flame let gravity start to stretch it a little bit and when you feel it's just starting to, to cool down a little bit you can start to stretch it out. I'm still turning it all of the time. Uh, it's quite hard to judge, but I'd probably think about a millimetre and a half thickness and then just put a little curve in like this. And that one drops off and then we just need to dip your tweezers in a little bowl of water and then just hold the stock for a couple of seconds and that'll just crack it off there. There we go, so I'll let that cool down for a couple of seconds. And I'll do the stalk for the, the, the valley, because I say I can prepare that in advance and let it cool down a little bit. But to begin with, I just need a little bit of sort of three to four mil green rod to use to, to add the extra stalks on the, the flower, st flower stalk. So again, just using a spare bit of rod, we're just going to pull off a little bit of a thicker piece this time, as I've said about 4 to 5 mil down this side. And as it starts to go hard, we'll just straighten that up a little bit. And there we go. And I'll pop this to one side. And then start to heat up the larger piece, about sort of 10 to 15 mil that you want for this. And just warm the end of your spur bit of glass you're punting so it doesn't jump off. And this stalk is going to be a little bit thicker, definitely sort of like two to three mil thickness. But just do this one at a time, don't try to pull too many of these. And then as it just as it starts to set, just put a little curve in it. And then this will be the top where I'm flaming it off now. 
and then with the rod that you just prepared a little bit earlier we're going to go down the stock while it's still hot and just put three little prongs so just warm the stock attach the prong and then just start to bring it off and a little bit further down the, the stock just as you start to get a little bit more delicate just reduce the size of the flame so you're only heating the exact bit you want to heat on the stalk if you start to put too much heat there it's just going to misshape the stalk and it'll just flop around and so we're going to try and work in odd numbers so just put a fifth Stop here, not a little prong. And if it does lose shape a little bit, you can always just strain it up. There we go. So I'm going to pop that in the cooling bubbles and come back to that in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to clean off the edge of the, the white glass I'm working with and same with the yellow and the little red stringer that I've got to work with on this one and this is going to be the Narcissi. So the Narcissi in the way we build it is exactly the same as the daffodil. So the only difference is the colours that we're working with. So the stalk that I pulled right at the beginning, we need to cut this in three. So around about, I would say that's sort of seven to eight inches long. Score it with your uh, tungsten knife. And again, score it. And the last little bit. There we go. And again, we'll just take the the cut glass end off there and so with the white we're going to create a little disc onto which we're going to put all the petals so you can see I'm going to carry on working with the flame quite tight quite reduced a little bit smaller than your average minor burner flame if you're working with the alpha probably gives you a slightly better flame for this as it's a tighter stronger flame so we just melt a little bit of a bead, uh, what would I say, about 8 mil diameter and then just let it hang down like a little drop and then just heat the tip of it and then with a pair of mashers or with a car carbon paddle if you've got one, just knock that back into a little, little disc. Now the yellow we'll use for the trumpet. And again, with all these flowers, it's just flame placement is quite crucial that you just work in exactly where you want to pop the flame and try not to heat any of the glass around it or you lose the shape of the flower. And certainly if you touch the stem, it'll just the weight of the head will just misshape the stem completely. So melting this yellow in and letting it drop to form a bit of a cone. And then again with the mashers, back of the mashers, tweezers are good for this as well. Just push it back into form, a little, almost like a trumpet. And then we'll just take a little red or orange stringer and put some little, almost like little prongs just coming off. So 
So back with the white. And so we're going to put five petals on this, so the spacing is quite crucial. Um, if you run out, you can't really move it about, you've got to start again. So just again, fuse on with the flame, just on the edge of the disc. And I'm sort of like building up enough to say about 10 millimeter blob of glass. And, and then I'm constantly turning the flower so that gravity helps it cool but also so that I can stay in control of where the, the glass is. So. It's about 60, degree, 60 degrees the angle, but obviously we haven't got time to get a, a tool out to work out the angles, so I'd rather end up with a little gap where I've left too much room for the fifth petal than not enough to squeeze the fifth one in. Um, so we're going for the fourth one now. And the fifth and final petal. And then with your mashers, so you heat the first petal and just gently flatten it down then onto the, the next one which is the this one will be the first one that you put on so this will be the coolest so it takes a little bit more of the flame just to get it nice and molten and obviously with white glass you know when it starts to get molten hot because it goes from being opaque through to being more transparent and then onto the fourth petal Fifth and final petal. And then back with the white glass again, just heat the tip of the petal and just pull it up and away and then use the flame to cut it. And this just gives you the natural sort of elongated sort of petal shape. So for a narcissus, narcissi, so we don't want to have a, a round petal, it needs to be more pointed. So fifth and final petal, so let's pull that one up. And then where the flame disappears, so I've got my safety specs on. So with my safety specs on, about here the flame is, is almost invisible to me. So you go a little bit higher than that and just start to pop the stem in the flame. And you can see I'm running it backwards and forwards about sort of half an inch. And then just a natural little bend in the stalk to let the head, the weight of the head brings it round. And you get that natural little curve and that's your narcissi. So again, we'll put that in the cooling bubbles. If you've got a kiln running, pop it straight in the kiln. So for the poppy, just gonna use a, an opaque red. Uh, I'll give you a clue, this is 432. So it's an Apetri color, 432. And using one of the stalks that we prepared earlier on. It starts off the same way by doing the little disc that we're going to mount the, the petals onto. So again about sort of like 7-8mm disc. Start off with this little round bead. And then you everything has to be obviously it's, it's, the flowers are so natural and so elegant. Everything has to have that flow to it. You can't have square corners and 90 degree angles. So let it hang down, let gravity you know sort of sweep the glass out into a nice little flow then tap it back with the mashers now with this one I'm just going to put a little bit of black in the centre first and this the poppy centre have black in the centre oh, I just forgot to 
to prep this. So we'll just take this end off. And again with the mashes, just melt that in. Now, I haven't got any to hand, but if you've got any leather punches, the patterned heads, they make a great little tool for putting little patterns on the centre here. So I've got these little round headed punches and I'll just use that to, to push that in. And then onto the petals. So the poppy only has four petals, so the petals are going to be a little bit bigger. So melt sort of 15, 20 millimetres worth of glass. This is quite a thin, thin rod. This is about, a, I would say, like a four mil rod. So it takes a little bit longer to heat the glass up. So and warm the side of the disc. And then again, just like we did before, just pop that on and keep turning it so that it doesn't droop down, it doesn't sit at the wrong angle. You want it obviously perfectly in line with the disc while you're heating the next bit of glass to go on. And these are a lot easier to find the placement because it's just, if you think of it as a clock, it's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, with them only being 4 petals. And just heating the glass up for the fourth and final petal now. And again, with your mashers, just pinch these down. We can afford to make these a little bit bigger um, because we want them to spread out a bit more. Again, because poppies have much bigger petals so heat them a little bit more the final petal here and with this one after we've uh, Flatten the final petal. We just need to flame the front and back of the petals just to take the masher marks off and then choose a razor tool to, to put a little indentation in the, the edge of the petal and this will give it sort of like a bit more of a natural flower design. So we can see that. And then again, top of the flame, just heating about an inch of the stalk and using the weight of the, the flower head to start to, to bend this over. There we go. And that's your poppy. Start again. Right, so Onto the dog rose. Dog rose is very, very similar to the, the poppy. It's got large petals, uh, but we're using a pink and a yellow for the dog rose. Um, again, it's only going to have four petals. So this is a real nice pink. It's opaque light pink 260. So. Again, exactly like we did the poppy, we're just going to start with a, a little disc on the end. For the dog rose, we're just going to start with a little pink disc. As I said, this is a light pink, it's 260, it's beautiful pink. Really, really easy to work with. Doesn't spit, doesn't bubble. 
and we're just forming that disc in pink again and then we're going to put a little bit of yellow over the top of the disc and then use the little ball tool just to push it in and get some shape to it and then back with the pink Again, as with the poppy, just put four petals on so it's really easy placement. I like working with the light pink. I used to do this with alabaster pink, and anybody who's worked with alabaster colours will know exactly what I'm going to say next, but it's just fritting my stick, it's lethal. So you'd dread making the, the dog roses with alabaster pink because you'd end up wearing more of the glass than what you would actually putting onto the flower head. So, to me, it just feels like it's so full of air in the rod that, you know, even with all the preheating in the world, the pink just, the alabasters just tend to explode. And I love the, the colours of the alabaster, like the pineapple and the green and the pink, but ugh, it just isn't, it isn't worth the, the effort that they need to be worked with. So, that's just putting the fourth petal on now. And then with the mashes again. So I've just caught the stem of the stalk of the flower there with the flame a little bit. I just started to bend over, so I just straightened it back up again with the, the mashes while I was holding the petal. And again, exactly the same with the razor tool. So we're just flaming the petal and then putting this little indentation in the end. It doesn't really matter if you overheat the petal and it sort of curls up as you push it because that just gives it a really nice natural sort of flower nature sort of look to it. So there's your dog rose and again we'll use the very top of the flame, I can't stress this enough, to me with the glasses on I can't see the flame has disappeared. If you think it's going too soon, which it was there, just take it out of the flame and let it cool and then just, because the last thing we want is these 45 or 90 degree angles on the stalks, it's just not natural. There we go, nice natural one. So the dog rose, and then I need to just have a feel around in the cooling balls and just come up with the stalk that we made earlier on for the Lily of the Valley. And so with this one, we're going to start from the top. So I'm looking to put a little ball of white on around about sort of seven to eight mil diameter and just get it nice and round. And then just give it a couple of seconds to go hard. And then we just need to add the white again and pull off a little point. And again, let that go hard and then just heat it and just flam it in to form the little trumpet. And then repeat this, we have to do this the five times. And because you prepared the stock by putting these little 
thin prongs on, you shouldn't get thermal shocking or thermal cracking that you would get if you now tried to put the green prongs on now onto a cold stove. Actually, just heat the prong now and just start to droop this one down. Let it again go natural as slowly as you can. And there we go. And then just let's go for this one on the top as well. to this side. Not a lot to say at this point because it's really just repeat five times. But you'll get so much practice in with flame control because you've just got to be so careful where the flame is going and just watching what you're doing with the flame. That one bends over, that should give you the lily of the valley. 